This is how you can quickly improve the sound quality of your Blue Yeti microphone. In terms of positioning the microphone, the Blue Yeti does not pick up sound from above. So you need to position the mic vertically instead of treating it like a karaoke mic. The rule of thumb is that the closer the microphone is to the source of the sound, the more crisp and higher quality the audio will be. So make sure you consider the positioning of your microphone in your entire setup. At the back of the microphone, there are two dials. The bottom dial determines the audio pattern the Blue Yeti will pick up. The first one is bi-directional or the figure of eight. The mic will record directly in front and behind of it. This is suitable for two-person events like an interview or a podcast. Next is cardioid. The mic will pick up sound directly in front of it. This is great for talking hit videos like this one. Or you can also do live streaming and voiceover narration as well. Most likely, this is the audio pattern that most of you will be using. Then we have omnidirectional. This will record the sound 360 degrees all around the Blue Yeti. This is best for multi-person interviews or conference calls where there's only one microphone in the center and everyone's sharing that same microphone. Finally, we have stereo. This records sound from the front and off to the sides. This pattern is good for vocal performances. It will take into account the position of the audio source and then it will then position the sound either on the left or the right side of the listener. After you're done selecting the audio pattern, it's time to adjust the audio levels or the volume. At the back of the microphone, the top dial is called gain. When I'm recording with the computer, this is one of the settings that I will fiddle around with to get the right audio level. At the front of the Blue Yeti, there's another dial literally called volume. By design, this would influence the volume that you would hear if you're plugging in headphones while speaking into the microphone. Bear in mind, you may find that the volume is low when you're listening to your test footage on a computer. This is okay because we're configuring all these settings to make sure that we can capture as much audio information as possible. We can always boost the volume in post-production using our video editing software or any other audio software. This process is much better because you're not gonna lose any audio information due to any sound distortion or peaking. Now that you sound like a pro content creator, you should also make sure that your video quality is really good. Watch this next for tips that will boost your video quality and take your content creation to the next level.